In this short training nugget, I'm going to cover the singing faces effect or the faces effect within X lights. Now, you must have singing faces configured on the appropriate props for this effect to work, but that will be covered in another video. So in here, we're just going to cover the effect. So you can see here, I have a lyric track All set up within X lights, and you must have all three lines of the lyrics track so the actual sentences, the words, but the key one is this third line, which if we zoom in, it shows the phonemes, and these are what will dictate the mouth shapes that are used for the singing faces. So initially, I've dropped the singing face onto a singing tree, a standard prop. And if we look at the interface, you must select the timing track. So because I have two lyric tracks here, I have the option, I've got the male lyrics or the female lyrics. And what will happen is over the timeline, the mouth movements will react to the phonemes set in that timing track. The next thing is you may have multiple face definitions that you've configured in here. I've just got one in this case. Now we have what happens to the eyes. So you can have it that the eyes are always open like this. You can specify them to close or you can put it to auto and then the eyes will just gradually open and close, uh, you know, over, over time periodically will open and close. The next thing is if you want to show the outline or you just want the actual face itself. And then there is an option to suppress the prop when it's not singing if you so wish now if providing you have set up your prop correctly you can actually use the color palette to dictate all of these colors and what usually happens is the mouth is usually the first color in us in the sequence on the palette then followed by the eyes and then followed by the outline. So in this case, you can see we have a pink mouth, white eyes and a green. So if I wanted to change the outline, I could just click and then we've changed the outline to blue. Now on some singing items, there are multiple outlines. And in this case, we have an outline for the Edison screw here. And you can see that's specified by the fourth color. And again, we can change that. We can change that color. And you see it changes in the prop. So that's when you're using a standard prop. But these can also be applied to things like mega trees or matrix. And again, you choose a timing track. But now on the face definitions, you must have imported some different face definitions. You see, I've got several here. So I've got things like, you know, a pirate type looking one, a robotic one, you know, PT Barnum, which is from a, a sequence, and then this one here. And again, you still got the same options. So there you go, that's the faces effect within. Excellent.